This is lesson 1.1, Real Numbers and Rectangular Coordinate System. Your objectives are to use the Pythagorean Theorem to find a side of a right triangle, to use the distance formula to find the length between two points on a coordinate plane, and to use the midpoint formula to find the midpoint of a segment on the coordinate plane. The Pythagorean Theorem says, in a right triangle, the sum of the squares of the lengths of the legs equals the square of the length of the hypotenuse. In this figure, triangle ABC is a right triangle, A and B are the legs, and C is the hypotenuse. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. C is always the hypotenuse. It's across from the right angle. Find X. Number 1. Here we have a right triangle. The two legs are length 3 and the hypotenuse is length x. To find x, we use the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. a and b are 3 and 3. And c is x. Remember, c is the hypotenuse. Now solve for x. 3 squared plus 3 squared is 9 plus 9, which is 18. And that equals x squared. To solve for x, take the square root of each side. The square root of 18 is about 4.24. And that's how long x is. Use the Pythagorean Theorem to find the third side of a right triangle. Number two. Here we have a right triangle. The legs are 9 and x, and the hypotenuse is 15. Use the Pythagorean Theorem to find the third side. The legs are 9 and x, so that's what a and b will have substituted in. 9 squared plus x squared. And C is the hypotenuse, which is 15. You could also say X squared plus 9 squared equals 15, because order doesn't matter for the legs. Let's solve. 9 squared is 81, and 15 squared is 225. Subtract 81 from each side, and X squared is 144. Then square root each side. Square root of x squared is x, and the square root of 144 is 12. Number 3. In this right triangle, the legs are 25 and x, and the hypotenuse is 65. Use the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. A and B are the legs, that's 25 and X. You could also say X squared plus 25 squared, both are correct. C is 65. 25 squared is 625. 65 squared is 4,225. Solving for X. Subtract 625 from each side, and you get x squared equals 3600. Do the opposite of square and square root each side, and that gives you x is 60. To find the third side of a right triangle, use the Pythagorean theorem. a and b are the legs, and c is the hypotenuse. When you're looking for the distance between two points in the coordinate plane, use the distance formula. d equals the square root of the quantity x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And those values come from the two endpoints of a segment, x1, y1, and x2, y2. Find the distance between each pair of points. Well, we'll use the distance formula. 
and we're using the points 0, 0 and 6, 8. X1, Y1 is your 0, 0 and X2, Y2 is your 6, 8. So when you substitute in, X2 is the second X, that's 6, minus the first X is 0. Y2 is the second Y, that's 8, minus Y1 is the first Y, that's 0. And now simplify. 6 minus 0 is 6. 8 minus 0 is 8. 6 squared is 36. 8 squared is 64. When you add those together, you get 100. And the square root of 100 is 10. Sometimes distance is an integer. Sometimes it's a decimal. If it's a decimal, round to whatever it says to round to. If it doesn't say, just round to the nearest tenth or the nearest hundredth. For number five, we'll do the distance between these two points. Use the distance formula. Second x is three minus the first x is negative two. Watch your minus signs there. y2 is 15, minus y1 is 3. Now simplify. 3 minus negative 2 is 5. 15 minus 3 is 12. Five squared is 25, 12 squared is 144. Twenty-five plus one forty-four is one sixty-nine, and the square root of one sixty-nine is thirteen. So the distance between those two points is thirteen. You use the distance formula, substitute in, be careful with your minus signs, and simplify. Number six, find the distance between the points negative twelve two and negative nine six. Use the distance formula. Make sure you write the formula out, and then substitute in and simplify. So we've already got the formula written out here. Let's substitute in. x2 is the second x, that's negative 9, minus the first x is negative 12. Be careful with your minus signs there. Plus y2 is the second y, that's 6 minus y1 is the first y, that's 2. Now let's evaluate this. Negative 9 minus negative 12 is 3. So that's a 3 squared. 6 minus 2 is 4. So that becomes 4 squared. 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16. That's the square root of 25, which is 5. To find the distance, use the distance formula, substitute in, and simplify. Sometimes your answer is an integer, and sometimes it's a decimal. If you're looking for the midpoint in the coordinate plane, use the midpoint formula. x1 plus x2 divided by 2, comma y1 plus y2 divided by 2. Your answer is a point, so that's why it's written in parentheses with a comma. x1, y1, and x2, y2 are the endpoints of the segment. Find the coordinates of the midpoint of a segment with the given endpoints. Number 7, 0, 0, and 12, 8. Well, we'll use the midpoint formula, so write that out, and substitute in. x1 is the first x, that's 0, plus x2 is 12, divided by 2. y1 is 0, plus y2 is 8, divided by 2. Z1 
0 plus 12 is 12, divided by 2 is 6. 0 plus 8 is 8, divided by 2 is 4. So the midpoint is the point 6, 4. Number 8. Find the midpoint of the segment with the endpoints negative 12, 8 and 6, 12. We'll use the midpoint formula and substitute in. x1 is negative 12, x2 is 6, y1 is 8, y2 is 12. Remember, your midpoint formula is in parentheses with a comma between. Negative 12 plus 6 is negative 6, divided by 2 is negative 3. 8 plus 12 is 20, divided by 2 is 10. So the midpoint is the point negative 3, comma 10. Number 9, find the midpoint. Use the midpoint formula. x1 is 11 plus x2 is negative 9, y1 is negative 2, plus y2 is 13. Remember, the midpoint, you add and then divide by 2, which makes sense because you're in the middle, and when you're in the middle, it's like the average, and for the average, you add the 2 together and divide by 2. 11 plus negative 9 is 2, divided by 2 is 1. Negative 2 plus 13 is 11, divided by 2 is 11 halves. So the midpoint is 1, 11 halves. So remember, if you're looking for the third side of a right triangle, use the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are the legs and c is the hypotenuse. If you're looking for the distance between two points, use the distance formula. Be careful and watch your minus signs with the distance formula. And for the midpoint between two endpoints, use the midpoint formula. Remember the midpoint, the answer is a point, so it's in parentheses with a comma between the numbers.